I have changed my mind. Well, uh, as, you know, as you all know, um, I usually um, say that occult spellcasting is bad, you know? That occult spellcasting is just bad. And you know, um, I kind of changed my mind because my biggest point was that um, my favorite one was Primal because Primal spell it has damaging spells, has healing spells, and has also spells um, that um, support the party. For example, you know, um, by crowd control mostly. Druids mostly do this by crowd control. But there are also other buffs and debuffs. Um, then I put like divine spell list because it usually just has um, you know healing and buffs, healing and buffs usually. But um, deities also exists, exist, and there are some deities that give spell cool spells like fireball or light. Or lightning bolt for you to use and you know mm, then I put arcane because it has buffs and damage but it doesn't hit any healing and then I put occult because it has buffs because it has mostly like buffs debuffs and a bit of damage but doesn't because but the back then I thought that it doesn't have any healing. But right now I found one of rare healing occult spells that is not like an necromancer's generosity where it gives healing but just to undead creatures or harm. I'm not sure if harm is occult. Right, I'm a I'm a double check harm. No, it's just divine. Yeah, because mostly, um, mostly, um, all the stuff is just necromancer generosity, I think. Yeah, Necromancer's Generosity, I, I think. Oh no, that's not even in here. Sorry, I, I, I got kind of confused. But that, that's why you double check things. Um, the point being that um, now I realize that it has the Soof spell that um, actually heals and is pretty good actually. You know, it's not as good as heal because heal deals heals like average of um, how much average um, that's like 13 damage 13 like that's 12 and a half healing average and this one um, has just like nine and a half healing average you know um, so that's like just 10 healing average versus 13 healing average so yeah Suf is pretty good in that case, it also gives you bonus, I guess, natal effects, um, which is pretty good against both like undead, dragons, fey, which, which is like, yeah, pretty good. Um, bonus against fear effects is really, really good, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much um, why I changed my mind about the cool spells, but I still didn't change my mind about bards. Because, you know, um, I don't really like Bard. And, um, our common misconception is that I think that Bard is weak or bad. But, um, no. You know, um, I, I got into an argument with like a f friend um, over Bards being bad and stuff like that. Because he thought that I think that Bards are bad. And, uh, of course, everything... Um, he, he will take every opportunity... Um, to, to try to 
convince me that D&D is a better system. Just, just, just because um, in Pathfinder he doesn't feel the power of spellcasters. Yeah. Uh, w wonder why a guy called Wizard is upset about spellcasters not being disproportionately powerful. Um, but back to the topic. Um, um, he, he brings up me saying that um, I don't like Bart. Um, I don't like Bart um, as some sort of like an argument that um, Pathfinder is not balanced. Because I... I because I even say that I don't like Bart, um, so B Bart must be bad. Aka, okay, all of Pathfinder's balance must be bad. Even though, even in that situation, Pathfinder's balancing would be bad just for Bart. But well, um, I, I just tried to explain to him for like two hours or so, <laughs> not two hours. Um, that 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 was like thirty minutes or so after the session. Sorry for saying two hours. I, I I'm just kind of tired and um, I I, I hyperbolized a bit, um, but but I want to be accurate, so I, I corrected myself. Um, so yeah. And the important thing is that I didn't really like Bart because they used for first the occult spell list, which, as I said before, it feels pretty bad. In a sense that this spell is not that this spell is doesn't have uh, many spells and stuff like that, um, but in a sense that it feels very limiting because it has just the least options, it just has the least different options out of all of the um, out of all of the spell is because back back then I thought that it has like just one. Out of three options. So, yeah, um, I, I kind of changed my mind about a cool spell is, but not about Bart as a whole. Because my second problem, aka the biggest problem, is that even though Bart is a really good class, the problem is Inspire Courage. Not that it's bad, but that it's just that good, in my opinion. You know, um, it, it's still balanced. It's still relatively balanced, don't get me wrong. But the, the point is that um, I recorded a Tekken 20 video about reacting to Tekken 20's uh, video um, a while back where I, I just debunked the whole um, illusion of choice thing. But on a micro scale, it just kind of exists, you know? For example, like, of course, um, during the first turn, during the first turn, um, as a lot of classes, you will probably um, choose, for example, um, hunt prey as a ranger, or um, or you know, um, rage as a barbarian, even though you have like two different actions and stuff like this. But the point um, you have two different actions um, then, which kind of limits you. Still, you have some options with these two actions, but you won't like be, uh, go to s go up to someone and via some sort of I don't know like fighter or more dedication, you will use double slice or maybe power attack. Um, while um, the point is that these guys have it so many scroll because it's one action. At the first round, you know, it, it's just the same. As, it's pretty much the same as uh, like drawing your weapons. You know, it, it doesn't really matter all that much. So yeah, um, now the problem with Bart is that um, Bart's usually feel just the need to cast Inspire Carriage as their first action pretty much every turn, sometimes as their last, but you know. Um, the, the first action that it comes up to mind to a bard when they hear that um, it's your turn, insert here bard's name, 
uh, is that the first thing they think is inspire courage. Um, but that's not just like with Ranger or Barbarian, where it's just like um, on the first um, round, on the on the first round of combat, um, bugs do this every single turn, you know? Bugs do this every single turn, um, pretty much. Sometimes they even just spam free composition cantrips and then just they can um, re record themselves like, um, I don't know, um, saying um, these few words and just like leave it on the record and go make themselves a sandwich or something. O of course that hi hyperbolic over here just to confirm. Um, the whole problem is that um, bugs feel limited in their choice and uh, my rankings of classes is not by like the power because the differences in power between Pathfinder characters are like aren't um, that big. Um, but the differences in the diversity of moves we can cast um, is pretty important. But you know, um, even I, even I, the versatile playing master himself. The guy that will just um, um, go up, run up to like the zombie mammoth or so, and power attack him with like a um, with like a mole or something, and then just like um, drop them on the next turn, just drop them all on the ground, um, and then use for example double slice and try to parry or something or do one of like many different things or I just diversify my moves and it, even even I feel the need to use inspired courage every turn if I try a bard you know just the, the moment I like um, take a bard first thing I think is inspired courage which you know mm, is my problem even though you have like lingering composition which kind of fixes the problem by you spending one focus spell and um, one focus point I think <sighs> spending one focus point to roll for that as to make it last for three rounds that's one thing that just fixes the bard, I think. But you know, um, it still had the whole occult spell things. But now I think that, um, even though I still think that the bard is like the worst class to play, in my opinion, um, I believe that now um, bard problem is mostly fixed because, you know, um, because you know, um, you have more options because of heal already, because of soothe, and um, you have also healing options. Um, you, you have like, because you know, um, that, that one spell heals enough that it will be pretty much any spell, only spell that you will need to use. You just need to set it as your signature spell or something. I think, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure if Bart can set signature spells. But I be, but I believe that they can. Um, so yeah, now if you have lingering composition, um, then you still don't feel feel shallow because now you have also a healing option. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty that's pretty much it. Um, all of this is just my opinion. If you if you hate Bart like I do. Um, because of the repetitiveness, um, and this time you feel that it didn't even redeem the bard. Um, the information about Maestro, because you know, I played both like Enigma and a Warrior Bard, and both of them mm, I, I didn't really enjoy. Um, I, I picked some builds, but now, if you, for example, um, pick Maestro Bard, I, I think that you may actually have some fun while playing Bard. 
Um, so, you know, um, of course that is if you succeed um, on your lingering composition check. Um, but remember, you know, you can do all this stuff. Just try to find your own path with freaks of nature. <laughs>